Hey! <laughs> thanks for coming on. Uh, thanks for stopping by and checking out my um, horror uh, movies uh, that I got in for March. Um, you, you've seen most of the DVDs if you've been following my DVD, um, the horror DVD overview video series. That feels like it's been going on forever, and I apologize about that. I'm tired of those videos, but I'm going to get through it. I'm going to do that, and I'm never going to do it again. Um, but anyway, uh, what's up? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm very rarely in front of the camera, so I'm being very, very, very cheesy right now, but forgive me on that. Anyway, let's, let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, let me go ahead and get this um, video out the way before the kids come home. And a lot of noise starts happening, so we don't want that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get let's get this burning. Let's get burn right through it. Um, all monsters attack. Um, just a bunch. Just loaded with a bunch of uh, classic. Uh, I think it's all fifties, maybe some sixties. Um, yeah, just classic black and white horror horror sci-fi trailers so glad to have it it's pretty cool so that's it uh next is a pretty cool pack from, from kino i've had my eye on this one for for a while yeah, kino has been doing pretty good about releasing a lot of its movies on blu-ray so i've been kind of putting it off but i couldn't help myself and this i got this one for a really good deal um i already have one of these movies on blu-ray and that's the awesome uh, dr jekyll and mr hyde um I mainly got this for two movies, The Man Who Laughs, which looks really awesome. I still have not had a chance to give that a spin. And the documentary, Kingdom of Shadows, The Rise of the Horror Film, seems really awesome. I need to, I really need to watch that. Um, it also comes with Lon Chaney and The Penalty, uh, the classic, The Cat and the Canary. And um, yeah, those are the other ones. So that's that. Let me get a drink. Ugh. It gets dry out here in the desert. Ah, oh, that is good. I've been addicted to that for about probably two years. What it is, it's V8 uh, V Fusion. And the flavor I'm drinking is banana strawberry. It's awesome. I put half water in it, though, just to kind of mellow it out. So I put a little water in it, and it does the trick. Ah, okay, continuing. Not that you guys care about one ringing, but anyway, uh, this is a triple feature here. The Andy Milligan Grindhouse Experience. Been getting a lot of the Andy Milligan movies uh, lately. Uh, what's on this one is The Body Beneath. Still haven't watched that one yet. Uh, Grew the Mad Monk, and the only one I've seen out of the, tr out of the three movies here is the Ghastly ones, and that one's a cool one. All right, next is Peter Benchley's The Beast. Um, I haven't seen this in probably easily over a decade, not since it aired on Sci-Fi Channel. Um, I am a fan of Peter Benchley's A Creature. Uh, that's one of the earliest DVDs I went for um, when I started getting addicted to collecting horror movies. So uh, I am excited for The Creature coming out. I think that's going to be really cool. But I haven't seen this in a long time, so I do remember uh, liking it. Not completely in love with it but just really liking it um it's a long movie for like a, a long movie based on you know it, about a killer octopus it's crazy but anyway this is how peter eventually is with his movies um i am gonna watch this tonight i'm gonna make myself force myself to hurry up and enjoy this edition um i've heard nothing but good things about this so that's awesome um this is probably my third or fourth Grindhouse Blu-ray. I've been incredibly pleased with uh, the Cannibal Holocaust and um, Corruption. That was a first time watch. I enjoyed that one. They just do an amazing job on these um, editions. But I'm going to finally get around to um, Fulci's The Beyond here. Um, so it's a big upgrade for me. I only had like the Anchor B, the really old Anchor B DVD. I'll be keeping that because it's got a different cover art that I like. But anyway, the Beyond. Um, next is uh, Black Sun, the Nanking uh, Massacre. I guess this is um, the third. 
This is like part four for the the men and men behind the sun movie. So I haven't watched that yet. I just haven't had time to watch a lot of movies uh, this month. I honestly don't know where it went. Um, a double feature for Blackula and Scream. Blackula Scream had to get it. Um, I am a fan of Blackula, but I still have yet to watch. I didn't even. I had the DVD too of uh, the sequel, and I hadn't even. I had never got around to giving that one a spin either, but I need to get on that. Uh, another, uh, hmm, I, I liked it. It's just incredibly stupid. It's so stupid, I, I you can't help but be entertained. That's Brutes and Savages. It's, uh, it tries to be a shockumentary, but it's a more of a mockumentary. A lot of reenactments. Uh, pretty hokey stuff. Hmm. Glad to replace my bootleg, a candle for the devil. Awesome seventies goodness right here. Uh, so yeah, a candle for the devil. Um, Crystal Force. This one, I thought this one was okay. I was entertained enough. Uh, really low budget. Um, I, th I found it funny because they try to they try to hide the the creature suit here, as you can clearly see. Um, that's the same monster you're gonna see in both. Uh, the terror within movies so i thought that was kind of funny but they sort of blur him not necessarily pixelate the creature whenever it shows up but they kind of blur him and he's always in like dark spots dark scenes so uh, probably for that reason just so you won't won't be able to tell that hey they're using like the same creature suit but, but anyway crystal force uh this one i really dug man i liked it digging up the marrow um I did a little research and came across some, <laughs> accidentally came across some spoilers. I pretty much knew what I was getting myself into with this one. Uh, I'm going to be surprised if this doesn't get a sequel. It's totally set up for like a big, a, a much bigger movie, I would think. Um, but I enjoyed it. Digging up the marrow. Pretty cool. I liked it. Uh, all right. Just giving my arm a break. It's dry out here in the desert. I drink something here. Um, don't go in the woods. Um, I'm still going to keep my Code Red DVD. I like keeping the Code Red stuff. But um, I remember watching this movie for the first time, and that's going to be the Code Red DVD. I had never seen this movie before that DVD came out. I've always heard about it, but I remember being a little aggravated because I, I didn't really get it. I didn't understand why it has such a huge cult following, and uh, it, I just... I would say I, I was entertained by it, but I, didn't, I just didn't fall in love with it. Like, it seems like a lot of people fall in love with this movie. But it has warmed... I have warmed up to it, and I really do... I mean, I do enjoy it. So that's Don't Go in the Woods Alone. Um, definitely want to watch the special features on this. I have not had a chance to take advantage of that yet. Uh, here's one that's um, an absolute completely new to me and i'm glad i took a chance on it and that is the fan um totally awesome movie uh like i didn't know too much going into it i just knew i read up a little up on it and it's and i kind of found out about the ending um, but it didn't ruin it for me I, I mean my wife and i had a fun time just watching this movie and i'm glad i, I did i am glad i took a chance on this um i was sort of on the fence for a little while but i decided to pull the trigger um really cool movie it's I, I don't know i could recommend it i think i could recommend this movie to most of you guys that i'm you know that i know, know out there i think you would i think you guys would dig this um, i liked it um, here is a Festival of Fright, uh, special three disc collection, pretty cool, just nothing, just loaded with a bunch of classic horror movie trailers, had to get it, that's that, collecting some more Ray Harryhausen, any movies, movies from him, I, oh, I've never seen this movie, and I, I finally watched it for the first time, and had a blast with it, uh, for, this is, uh, First Men in the Moon, really cool way by hg wells um i had a I had a fun time watching this one and this is another one i was sort of on the fence about but i, I am glad i took a chance on this one as well so i i loved it i like the way that um the moon creatures look that was pretty cool uh really picks up the second half of the movie so that's that 
Um, gallery of Gore, some Russian splatter there. That's that. Um, I, I've yet to see this. I've always known about this movie, but I just kept putting it on the back burner because it's... Uh, I don't know. I, I do... I, I do enjoy watching my watching the extreme side of horror every now and then so i, I got really curious and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna check this out pretty soon i just gotta be in the without sounding morbid i guess i gotta be in some sort of the right kind of mood to give something like this a spin but anyway the girl next door finally getting getting to this one uh guts and gore more uh russian low budget splatter so guts and gore if you have to watch that one uh finally getting i saw the devil um I rented this one right when the movie first hit. I think it was either on Netflix when we had Netflix at the time. Or it was on, I think it was on a movie in demand kind of deal. Uh, me and my brother-in-law watched it and our jaws were pretty much on the floor uh, almost the whole time. Uh, but yeah, really cool, brutal thriller uh, movie here. I Saw the Devil. Uh, next is Japanese Hell. This just looks nuts. I need to I need to watch this one soon too. But Japanese Hell, it just looks crazy. Look it up. You'll, if you haven't seen it, just definitely check into it. It might be your thing. Um, uh, this one, uh, probably one of the best. Uh, or well, I'm gonna say it's my number one uh, werewolf movie. As far as newer werewolf movies go, this is my number one. Uh, absolutely in love with this movie. This is the kind of movie, in my opinion, that this is it. It doesn't need a sequel at all. It's 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 great, uh, and it doesn't even feel like it's set up for a sequel or anything like that. It doesn't. I don't want a sequel. I think it's perfect the way it is, and that's night. No, wait a minute. That's late phases. Uh, night of the Lone Wolf. Love this movie. Love all the characters. Love the main bl uh, character, the the blind dad. Totally kick-ass character. And um, and the werewolves are awesome. I mean, it's it's werewolf movie done right. So that's all I'm going to say about that. I, I'll this movie would be 30 minutes long if I don't put that movie away. Um, there's another box set I showed already. This is the Mad Monster Rally. Um, already talked about this one and probably my. Yeah, it comes with Spooktacular. Each of these move, each of these come with three movies. I don't want to go through that. I'm, I already talked about that one. Um, finally getting some Arrow, so that's awesome. So I'm in the club on that. Um, <laughs> uh, Mark of the Devil, pretty. This is ridiculous. This is one of the nicest additions in my collection. Like I can see why you guys go nuts for Arrow. That's it's it's Criterion, really. Um, now that I have one, I'm like, holy crap. Um, yeah, but this movie is awesome. This is a, definitely one of those 70s horror movies you just you have to have in your collection. Um, whether it be DVD, Blu-ray, whatever. Um, you gotta have Mark of the Devil. Um, hard to believe this came out in 1970 from what you're gonna see in this movie, but really cool. Mark of the Devil, I finally got some Arrow. I think it's really cool. Arrow's branching out more and getting into the U.S., for hardhead people like me, that's always late with, um, always late with everything. Always late with like getting 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 into certain you know um, companies. Um, next is um, massage parlor of death. I have yet to give this a spin, but this looks crazy, so give that a chance. Um, next is night game. Just got this in this evening. Um, this is an okay thriller. It's not a slasher. It, it's gonna you're gonna think it's gonna the cover art is is um you're gonna think it's like straight up horror slasher 80s. It's not. It's a really good movie though. Really good thriller. Um, not shocking like anything like if you were to watch Seven, which I just watched Seven recently. I've been getting into some of the 90s thrillers. Um, I've always liked nine like Kiss the Girls and The Bone Collector and. Uh, like seven and so i've been kind of i've been watching a lot of thrillers lately which is surprising me but anyway night game glad to get that i'm still going to keep the made on demand double feature dvr that i have because it comes with the 90s um 90s slasher movie with that so i gotta i'm gonna keep that um another classic you know the old dark house just another one of those old classics i need to get um 
let's see, double feature, finally get around to this. The Phantom from 10,000 Leagues and the Beast with 1 million eyes. So, that is that. Um, Planet of the Dinosaurs, just collecting more of those dinosaur monster um, B horror movies. So, Planet of the Dinosaurs, another one from Retro Media in conjunction with Bayview Entertainment. Which is one of those editions I had to get a hold of. Well, movies I had to, I've been curious about. But Planet of the Dinosaurs. Yeah, I did it. Uh, I just love this movie. Um, I, I, I went ahead, I'm lost. I, I really am. I don't know what to think. I did watch the Blu ray. I watched, um, I understand it's like the both the same cuts, but I watched the one that I'm pretty sure has all the gore in it. I could be wrong. Somebody let me know because I'm confused as all get out. Because it's the only one that I had is this edition here, the Tromo Retro series. And I know that's cut to pieces too. But I love that cover art, so I'm keeping it just for that reason alone. But anyway, I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm, I'm kind of pissed and got impatient. So I went ahead and ordered the 25th. 25th anniversary two disc DVD. So I imported the Dutch uh, edition. So that should be coming in. Uh, I was hoping it would come in in time for this uh, update. Whatever. That'll be in April. But um, from what I've read and all the gore that I did see while watching this Blu ray, and it does look like crap. I'm not going to defend that. But I, I'm pretty sure it looked like all the gore is actually intact. And those scenes, from what I've read, are in this. Please correct me, clear some things up with me, because anyway, I've got, I've now got three copies of Brand and Grannies. I've got the import coming to me, so I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do. That's that. Um, I got this for Race with the Devil. It looks like a horror thriller action pack kind of thing. Um, I have no idea what Dirty Mary Crazy Larry is all about. I mean, that's probably just as entertaining as well. But I, I got this mainly for Race with the Devil, so. One I've been curious about. Uh, the Rage Unrated Edition. I had the Rated R, so I needed to get the Unrated. So I got that taken care of. Uh, another Hannibal sequel I was missing. Uh, again, with the thrillers. I've been craving that stuff. Red Dragon, another favorite that I watched right when it came out. I just had to get the Blu-ray. So Red Dragon. That's a good one. I like Red Dragon. Red Room. Uh, Red Room 2. Uh, I have yet to watch this one, though, but Red Room was pretty funny. Uh, seven. Um, finally got around to getting Seven into my horror collection. Just a, an, an awesome. Kevin Spacey is just one of my favorite actors. So uh, I love Seven. So I had a, my wife and I had a good time watching this. So this is a very nice digi book. Um, still available for a reasonable price. Um, and I'm not sure if it's out of print or not. But And then I got... Um, I bought things again, even though I've already have it. This one, I wanted to get it for like, I just wanted to get it for original cover art. And David Sterling, the producer, signed it. So I thought that was pretty cool. He even threw in like an extra D uh, DVD with like three other movies. I turned this into a double disc, so it's got both the things editions in here. Pretty cool, low budget horror anthology movie. So and I've always liked that original VHS cover art. So. Um, the only Toxic Triple Terror packs I had were Volume 2 and Volume 5, so I now have Volume 1, and I'll go over these more when, when I get to the T's, when I get to that overview series. I got Volume 3, I, I got all seven volumes now, so Volume 3, um, Volume 4... Volume 6, Volume 7, uh, some more Russian Splatter, Tumors, it's called Tumors, how could I, how could I not get it, it's called Tumors, uh, Voyage to Prehistoric Planet, Whew. this is a, this is a tough one to get through, but it does have some entertaining uh, moments in it, so Voyage to the, pre to the Prehistoric Planet, and Zombie Chronicles, a pretty cool low budget um, uh, horror zombie anthology. Uh, flipper disc you got 2d and 3d it is a flipper disc so and that's it guys thanks for watching take it easy uh keep collecting uh later